YouTube, what's up everyone? Today's video, I'm gonna showcase you guys how to perfectly, perfectly play Eldritch. All you need to know for the best budget deck in Master Duel, all new players, everything alike. You gotta watch this video beginning to end. Gameplay, duels, tips, tricks, everything you can possibly ask for. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to smash the subscribe button. If you guys aren't new to the channel, still subscribe to the channel. Also, smash the like button. Also, comment down below what deck you guys want to see next. Make sure to check out the Eldritch playmats we got on TripGaming.com. Lastly, if you love videos like this with gameplay, tips, and tricks, I post them every day on my Patreon. So go check out the Patreon. Without further ado, let's go straight into Eldritch tips, tricks, gameplay theory, everything above. Let's go. All right, YouTube. This is our Elich deck profile. Uh, it's extremely insane in this meta. I'm telling you guys. All right, let's clap some bums, shall we? It's time, boys. It's time for Elich greatness. I'm going to go slow mode. I got Wakero, Scarlet, Double Skill Drain, and Solemn Strike. I'm going to show you guys right now whether you're new to the deck or not. Elich gameplay. We're going to start with some trash decks and move our way. It's good to start with bad decks like this. Just so you guys can actually understand the idea behind the decks. We have two skill drain, a strike, a Wakara, and a Scarlet. So the idea behind this deck is that you want to use traps in your deck. Don't play hand traps. Don't play nonsense. Don't play other monsters. The idea is that you want heavy traps that trade off like one for two or one for three. For example, a Torrential or a Needle Ceiling will trade off one for five, one for four. A Strike got rid of his whole play here. And while your big traps that do so much stop your opponent from playing all of your golden land traps this one scarlet sanguine is going to turn into five golden land traps by turn three because once it gets on the off the field it, it trades itself for one card so scarlet turns into golden lord next turn that scarlet turns to conk that conk hits the field then that conk uh link summon then it gets another scarlet that's Scarlet gets another monster uh, you get what i'm saying it continues cycling and even though you have let's say set five on turn one turn two you're gonna have set five again because you're gonna draw traps every turn and you're gonna get free traps every turn from the elich trap engine that's the gist of this deck and as you witness over here i'm just literally getting control i, I just had set five i just had set five i link summon away my wakero as you guys saw over there just to be able to get free additions from it every single turn every single turn we're getting a scarlet a wakero a golden land big board presence and then eventually when they actually have a board themselves if your traps can't deal with their traps you go nightmare phoenix for free nightmare cerberus for free you use them under the link spider then you go into nightmare unicorn then you go into access code talker and you clear their whole board very easily and precisely that's the idea behind this deck here we go skill drain that's what i'm talking about utilizing only traps that are massive massive blowouts especially for when we lose the dice roll because we're gonna lose the dice roll sometimes right and that's good this deck is amazing going second because if you look at all of our traps we're not playing emptiness we're not playing summon limit traps like this are only good going first we only play traps that are good going second that help break boards for example torrential chain strike torrential chain skill drain stuff like that that allow us to break the board once it's built and now as you guys witness well this is going to be otk for us if we let him survive this turn, we could have set five traps again. This is turn three, and we have five traps. Turn one, five traps. Turn two, five traps. Turn three, five traps. That's how you build this deck. Whether you lose the roll or win the roll, it does not matter. Because any board that they put up, as long as you're not getting FTK'd, you're breaking it. No deck in Master Duel is breaking through Torrential, Torrential, Needle Ceiling. Look at this. Look at the you, Needle Ceiling. Skill drain goes in match plus whatever you draw. So you're gonna have four traps that break boards. Most of the monster negate boards that decks put up this format when you go second are like Apaloozas and trash like that. So here, look, monarchs. Again, this is just so you guys can actually understand the gist of it. Skill drain is gonna literally stop his entire deck from playing. Your whole deck does that. If you let's say you're facing at Emancipator or something, you let them combo off. Then you needle ceiling after they have four monsters on board. Same with virtual world. Let virtual world combo off needle ceiling. See you later. First or second. VFD doesn't do shit. Now this one Wakero, this one Wakero by itself could go into Link Spider, which will then that Wakero get a Scarlet, Scarlet get a Golden Lord, that Scarlet get a Wakero. 
Like, they go on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. That's the absolute beauty of this deck. I absolutely love it. So that's the gist of it. So I'm sure you guys get the idea now. Uh, one Golden Land will trade off for 1,000. It's also really cool that through Skill Drain, Golden Lord still has 3,500 attack because it activates in the graveyard. So it works absolutely remarkable together. And I look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Like, like, look at this. We just went first and we have five sets. Right? We have four sets. We had four sets on turn one. Turn two, we have five sets. I accidentally activate this Golden Match. Never flip a Floodgate by accident because you want you prefer to use it when you like when you waste some of his cards. I flipped it by accident. This duel was around the beginning when Master Duel came out. But nonetheless, you guys get the idea. So now we're gonna let him go off. Like, what's this? What's he doing to this? Even if these floodgates were like solemn strikes or dogmatic punishments, it doesn't need to be floodgates. You're stopping them from playing regardless of what he's doing. Eventually, he's just gonna force to auto scoop. If he clears one of these traps, it doesn't matter because you draw another one. The Scarlet brings itself back every turn. You set five, and because in Master Duel it's a best of one format, no one siding Lightning Storm, no one siding evenly match because you can't side. It's just absolutely game over. Now imagine he sets two monsters. Let's say he puts up some board presence. The board presence get destroyed by this because you go Nightmare Link Spider, Nightmare Cerberus, Unicorn, Elich. You get what I'm saying? It breaks every board. Very, very awesome. This next duel I'm going to show you guys will be against Tri Brigade. And it's against a really, really good player playing Tri Brigade. And you guys will see just how easy this deck obliterates that deck. Like, it, it just inherently an absolutely incredible matchup against this entire meta. The entire meta. Absolutely everything. There's a reason why Elich right now has so much play in Platinum. Uh, I did get this. These duels were around a uh, few days ago when I first, obviously, when everyone just got the game. Right now, I am on Platinum. Almost on plot one. And look at this end. So uh, we have Extravagance, Needle Sealing, Scarlet, Punishment. If we just set Punishment. Sorry, if we just set Needle Sealing by itself. The whole board. Like this is a better hand going second. Because you know, we have Needle Sealing and Protection of Needle Sealing. Goes in match all that. So if he does his full Tri Brigade combo. I just literally Needle Sealing. GG. It's done. So at this point. He goes. Uh, he has a Tri Brigade Kit. I'm like that's alright. Tri Brigade Kit. That's perfect. I'm going to activate Scarlet first. There's a little trick for all you guys, okay? I'm going to activate Scarlet first to bait an Ash. He had an Ash. If I go Conk Scarlet, I waste my Conk for nothing. Because if he Ash my Scarlet, my Conk will not pop. So I bait him with the Ash test with Scarlet. Okay, so I don't waste my Conk just yet. I know he's going to go into El Mirage. And El Mirage has a built-in protection effect that stops his monsters from getting destroyed by effects. So my Dogmatic of Punishment will not be able to resolve as well as I would like it. That's okay, though, because I'm aware of this strategy. I'm aware that this is what he wants to do. So I'm like, all right, no problem, my guy. Go ahead. Search whatever you like. And if I am him, I am not summoning Karis. I'm not discarding a card here because I have uh, four sets. It will be such a waste for him. He's going to go Fractal, and Fractal will get him, uh, will fill his graveyard for an obvious, uh, this is a very obvious uh, revolt that he has. I punishment this. I know he has a revolt set because he negged Fractal to make sure he has enough cards in the graveyard. So Elich is also important to know all the matchups because I recognize that play. So I know for a fact one of these are Tri Brigade Revolt. Uh, I end up hitting one of his cards and I draw into Needle Ceiling. I already had a Needle Ceiling, but I, this is this is great. This is fantastic. I already have one. So let's Needle Ceiling pop this. He's going to chain the Revolt because I know he has it. And I save my Solemn Judgment for this specific moment. This is easy. Absolutely easy. Next, what I want to do, I have a lot of Elich. I only have two traps right now, right? I only have two traps. I only have two traps. So let's go Scarlet Sanguine effect. Scarlet Sanguine, get a Conquistador out. Or sorry, get a Wakero out. Golden Lord is going to then send uh, this Wakero because I know Wakero against Tribe is not that powerful. He hits me with a massive DD Crow. That was a huge DD Crow, uh, but that's all right. That's all right. Uh, DD Crow wasn't expected, but that's okay because our, our trap, our, 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 we're still set up. With Conk Scarlet Needle Sealing. So this is still very good. This is still very good setup for us. All right, uh, yeah, so uh, I'm going to let him. He's going to go automatic set. I'm like, all right, let's go Scarlet. Let's go Scarlet. And then he's going to, so on this Scarlet, uh, I'm going to special summon a Golden Lord. This is my last Golden Lord. So I'm going to save my Conquistador because what if he has another Tri Brigade Revolt? So I'm going to save my Conquistador that I have set right now just in case he has a Revolt because if he banishes my second Golden Lord, I lose. So what I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to set up my graveyard, my, my sets again. I'm going to activate Scarlet, set four traps, easy. I'm going to set four traps, boom. Now I have four traps set, this is turn three of the duel. Look how much plus we have, look how much plus we have. Now, 
Uh, he's just waiting. He wants to draw a starter for himself. The idea of this deck, you want to gain control of the deck. You want to gain control of whatever deck you're dueling against and set up massive, massive, massive value. Massive, massive, massive plus. He summons Fractal. Before he activates effect, I want to pop this. He chains MST. I'm like, fuck, 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 fuck. This is not good, but it doesn't matter because here I'm going to activate Trap Trick and then I'm going to use Trap Trick Ice Prison. Ice Prison, banish uh, his Fractal in the graveyard and the Fractal in the field. And he has no one card in Yu-Gi-Oh to save him. Except like an idiot, I kept Toggle off. This is right when I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh and I uh, Master Duel and I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know, bro. I didn't know how Toggle worked. This is the first day when Master Duel came out. So literally right here, look at, I'm fucking molding, bro. I just activate Ice Prison, but it won't let me activate Ice Prison. It was actually so fucking annoying. So I would have just Ice Prison, both Fractals. He would absolutely pass his turn and have 5,500 life points. I summon out my last Conquistador, I link two, and then I summon out Golden One from Graveyard and attack for game. But because that's a massive lesson, learn from me, guys. Learn from me. When you're playing with Eldritch, keep Toggle on 100% of the duel. It'll be very annoying for you to right click, right click, right click 10 times a turn. But it's so, so, so important when you have five traps that you do that. that was, this is my victory. This is completely my victory. This is completely and utterly 1000% my victory without fucking question. That was mine. Like, that was the most easy win ever. I'm fucking pissed that I did that slight error. No! I'm a response, you fuck! I have a fucking response! I'm a response to the normal summon! I fucking hate this game! I hate this game! I had a fucking response, you imbecile shithead fuck! It's not letting me respond! Despite that little slight error, it doesn't matter. Here, we're gonna be going second against Unchained. And Unchained, we're gonna go super fast for this for this last bit. Unchained, this is, hey, this is this encoder's deck. And it is a solid deck. This is a solid deck that I think is going is pretty underrated at the moment. It's a very solid deck. He, uh, he sets up a pretty solid board, but it's not gonna be enough for us. The idea of this is, guys, Elwich, what it does is it gains control of your opponent. Everything your opponent is going to try and do. They're going to try and set up a board. But you stop the board from being made. And you continually get this advantage. And the beauty of it is every hand trap is useless. That's why I love it. That's why I love it. All their ways to, like, their monster negates that they put up, they're useless. What monster are you negating? What monster are you negating? There is no monster for you to negate. That is the biggest thing that I love about this deck. Is that it's actually, nothing's negatable. Like, the only cards that you care about are spell and trap negates. But a lot of decks are putting up monster negates. For example, Appalooza, uh, you know, all a bunch of stuff like that. That's, that's easy. That's easy. That's easy, bro. No problem. That ain't nothing. What's Zodiac Dryden doing? What's Strikers doing? This deck is... We have such a great matchup. And if we build our deck, Platinum is filled with Elish right now. It's filled with Sky Striker. It's filled with Zodiac. It's filled with Birds, which we have an amazing bird matchup because of all the trap. Even losing the dice roll. They cannot play around two Torrentials or Needle Sinning Trap Tricks. Or big blow skill drains, goes in matches. They can't play around two of them. So when you just set five of them, they lose. Drytron is the only bad matchup. Because going second, they set up like six, seven fairy negates. So there's nothing you can do unless you hard draw Solemn Strike. If you hard draw Solemn Strike, you win the duel automatically. But all, all in all, this deck has an incredible matchup against so many decks. And uh, look at this scenario right here. I have like eight cards to his one. Like, and I just goose off for game. That, that's, that's a cool little way to win there. And I'm telling you guys, man, this deck truly is, it's a thing of beauty. There's just a special feeling of playing this deck of control, man. It feels like, I'm a control freak personally. Personally, I'm a control freak. It feels like 100% of the game, you are always in control. Uh, like, look at this, man. Like, this guy has a Blue Eyes Chaos Max, which no trap deck should be able to beat it, right? But look at this, like, I, I know it's like some noob here, like Chaos Max, whatever. He's going to set up, put up two of them. He's putting up two guys that are, like, unprotected, that, that are, you cannot target. They cannot be destroyed by effects. They cannot be targeted. We're going to deal with this so easily. Like, it's nothing. Like, it's baby food. Like, literally baby food. And there's so many cool interactions on here that I show my Patreon. That you guys can check out as well. Uh, daily videos on it. And yeah, guys, that's the video. Just a bunch of gameplay. Let me know what you guys think of this.
This is my first time on YouTube posting Master Duel gameplay. Obviously, I'm more used to TCG, as you guys know. So let me know what you guys would like to see for the next video on gameplay. If you guys got this far, don't forget to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Check out all the links down below if you want to support your boy. You guys want to get better at the game. And look at this shit, bro. He's going to activate Mirror Force? Fuck no. Solemn Judgment. See you later, buddy. Let's go.